Hello everyone, this is Sonam. Today in this video, we will discuss about Power Automate Parallel Branch. Also, we will discuss these topics that is what is a parallel branch, what is the limitation and save ma and we will see a example that uh, save multiple email attachments using Power Automate Parallel Branch. First, before that, first we will discuss what is parallel branch. So, uh, it enables us to carry out a parallel evaluation of logical element. That means we can have two or more steps running at the same time and the workflow will only continue after all parallel steps are completed. Let's simplify this. Uh, in 2017, Microsoft announced uh, the parallel about the parallel branch. And before that, we are using that flow that is going sequentially. But in this parallel branch, rather than sequential, it will work at the same times in multiple. It works at the same times. Uh, suppose uh, the user want to send an approval request from and that approval needs from if the both the team lead and managers are approved at the same uh, if the both uh, both the team and uh, team leads and the manager will approve then it will count as the approved. So in that case we can use that parallel branch so that you know, when the user up sending an approval notification it will go to the team lead and the manager at the same times and when if if one of the user is declined that approval flow the approval request then it will be count as the decline otherwise if that the parallel uh, otherwise it will come as approved in a um, parallel branch it is both the branches are uh, in independent to each other they are not depending to each other they are independent and there is a certain limitation of using a parallel branch uh, we can use maximum up to 50 parallel branch in a single workflow so next we will see how to uh, we can find a parallel branch option in our flow when we are using uh, if action there is a in between the two action we can find in plus icon we will see in our uh, next uh, in in our coming example there is a coming it will coming as a, as a plus icon and then it will come uh, here it will ask for the add a parallel branch if we will click on add an action then it will add an action in between the uh, action uh, if we will add a parallel branch then it will um, create a parallel in between that action let's create an example uh, or a workflow using the parallel branch i just open my login sign in my user id with the uh, office 365 and uh, next uh, it will open that uh, screen and we will find here the power automate uh, option uh, in in app launcher you can find that power automate application go to that ellipses and click on that ellipses it will uh, show the uh, open in new tab when you click on that it will open a, another new tab okay i just create open that uh, let's go to create that new flow go to create and here you can find uh, in that uh, we can create a flow flow using uh, by three ways uh, we can create an automated flow you uh, can create an instant cloud flow instant flow and or button flow and also we can use a create a uh, scheduled flow and desktop flow also okay uh, so for for this uh, in now we will create a flow that will trigger when the email uh, a new email is arrives to the user and if the email has some attachment or uh, multiple attachments then it will get that attachments and retrieve it and then it will save it to the multiple location at the same time uh, let's see how to create this flow let's uh, click on that automated flow then here we will give a flow name that is retrieve uh, email attachments then next uh, we will search as we are working with that uh, email arrives so here we will search when an email arrives then click on select that uh, trigger and click on create by default it is showing us uh, the folder inbox so that uh, when email the new email will arrives in the inbox folder then uh, include attachment so make it yes now the trigger is ready now in the new steps we will add an action to get the attachments from the emails so get attachments ok 
okay let's uh, under that office 365 outlooks connector get g g uh, yeah get attachments so here we will give the message id and attachment id that mandatory fields from the dynamic contents so here search id yeah it's coming message id and in attachment id it will come that attachment id attachment id and we can see when we will see we selected that attachment id it will create a apply to each uh, apply to each loop that means it will check and it will apply for each attachments uh, that comes with that uh, email then uh, inside that loops we will create uh, another action that uh, that will create the once we get that attachment we will create this attachment in our SharePoint point location so for this we will add another action create file so here is the create file and then we will give the mandatory fields uh, that is first site address it's my site address and folder path so we will insert the folder path uh, as i have two document library i have created uh, two document library one is save attachments another one is save attachment information so first uh, i will use save attachment let's take the save attachment and give the file name name as name of the attachment and file content the attachment content now the flow is almost ready next we will add a parallel it will work uh, when uh, when the uh, email is arrives with some attachment it will get that attachment and uh, the that attachment will stored as a new file in it uh, say in saved attachment in this document library but we want to uh, store this attachment in both the locations so in this here we will add a parallel branch so in between the get the attachment we as we want to store the attachment in both locations so just uh, under that get attachment action there is a plus icon and click on that and it will show that up to option that uh, and click click on add a parallel branch then here also similarly we will use create file and also provide that uh, site address folder path as attachment from email get our second document library then we will give the name and the file content as attachment content now our flow is ready as there is no errors there is no warning and no errors so let's save it once it is the saved successfully it will come as a green tick otherwise it will come as a red tick if it is there some warning or errors let's now it's time to test so test it manually first to see it was send a new email in your inbox it notify us they send a new email so uh, i just open a i have a new another test user that is user 2 my test user account so i will send a new message here to myself so now review the documents suppose i will uh, give some subjects and I will give a hi. Uh, I will mention some uh, subjects or body, uh, the email body like this. Please find the attachment and let me know. Keep it simple. On next, we will add some attachment. We can add this from computer or OneDrive or upload and whatever you want to do. And you can choose and okay, attach there some attachments. Suppose I will click on the, I will suppose attach some attachment from, upload some attachment here from my, from my local computer, local system. Suppose I have attached two files, one is a document, Word, Word file and one, another one is Excel file and regards, so no, sorry, he used it too, okay and click on send button. Now we can see an email will come to our uh, uh, to my email address uh, let's check this so here the uh, email is coming it already came yeah here is that uh, open that mail so here the attachment is came in our email uh, let's check that uh, uh, and it will retrieve as per our flow it will retrieve that attachment and it will store in the SharePoint folder at, at the same time so let's check that SharePoint fo folder let's check that uh, the document library as we can see the email uh, attachments are saved in the both in both the 
document library as well we can see that both the email uh, attachments are stored in both the document library in attachments from emails and also in saved attachment document library this is how we can uh, work with that uh, power automate parallel branch to store the email attachments in both the SharePoint location uh, for more with free videos tutorial on SharePoint power apps power automate power bi and as well as python and machine learning and many more please subscribe our youtube channel ts info technologies and please give your review in the comment section thank you